Hi, lovely people. My name is Ajete. And then a shout out to TCN TV. Keep it locked here, people. Hello, Elid Mary. Can you hear me now? Move about so. Truly, life is full of ups and downs in your league. But it's come back, baby, you're just But my cup is running full. Can't take this no more. Darkness grips my soul and wouldn't let go. Drops of sadness into my happiness. Turning my life into intense madness. The eyes of doom looms over my roof The road which leads to peace now turns blue Holy Roti, I'm a mid Roti Mio Holy Roti, I'm a mid Roti Mio Holy Roti, I'm a Citation. I play the role of the prophet, professor who's uh, obviously uh, somehow abusing some of his power. And uh, yes, I'm very glad to be part of this production. Glad to be in Nigeria. Glad to finally properly connecting with, uh, with Kunle because he's someone that I've met uh, more than 15 years ago and we've always uh, spoke about a real collaboration. And uh, as I've been coming back and forth here since Fat Girls, you know, I've, I've, I've hosted the AMA, I won a few awards here, uh, I did a documentary about Nollywood, Jimmy Goes to Nollywood, that you guys can catch if you want. And uh, I thought it was, uh, it was the perfect choice of movie to pick uh, because of the subject matter, uh, because of, of what it means to the country and also because of the director directing it uh, in the name of Kunle. Kunle. So, so yeah, very, very, very happy and excited to be part of this. No, I did a small part in, in, in the CEO, yeah. Um, yes, I would love to have a bigger presence here, but then again, you know, it has to be of quality, you know, starting from the script, because I truly believe that the future of cinema is in Africa. And if we have to count Africa, Nigeria has to be one of the top countries that we have to, to think about. So, so yeah, I'll be interested to do more projects, but then again, you know, we have to have uh, good uh, quality scripts and, uh, and people with, with vision, uh, like the likes of, of Kunle. Yes, you do have a, a handful of other people that are capable to produce those kind of movies, and uh, if they come my way, it would be with pleasure. You know, even though I'm still based in Hollywood, I still uh, not necessarily prioritize Hollywood, but I understand that it's my strongest base, because uh, anything I do there goes around the world, so I have to keep that going. But at the same time, you know, participating in some of the African movies and also in the evolution of African cinema is something that's very close to my heart. Yeah. So I play the role of Morimi, who is actually the focal character of Citation, and you kind of see her experience of uh, starting her postgraduate degree, and then this situation that happens with her, um, involved with harassment on campus. And right now, that's all I can tell you, but um, it's an amazing uh, supporting cast, and you know everyone has a very specific but very um, developed role to play. On film, so I have a um, a uh, pass with theatre acting and on stage, but feature film, 100%, first time. Mm. Do you know what? <laughs> I almost, I always, I keep on pinching myself like, wow, my first feature film is with Mr. Afolayo because he's such a legend and I grew up loving and being obsessed with his movies. I'm just like, wow, we can ha really have this level of quality um, of characters, of script, of production. Um, you know, from our country, and we should be so proud of it because his films are really beautiful. So, for this to be my first film, for him to take a chance on me, for everything to come together, where his first film has a character who is 21, and it just it worked too well. Yes. What was going through your mind the first time he called you and said, "Okay, come." Hmm. I was like, am I? <laughs> but there were a lot of um, there were lots of auditions, so it did take a while for me to secure the role. Uh, I had to do many different scenes, from crying to happy to um, just being with my friends. So he really put me through. He won't just cast anyone ever. If you see his movies, the acting is always 
100. So um, I'm I'm so happy that at the end I was the right fit. I'm not sure, but I don't want to ruin my makeup. But uh, you'll catch, you'll see in the film. You'll see in the film. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. The role, um, Quissy, and basically Quissy happens to be, um, a, you know, a very very good friend of um, the main character, Moremi, um, who. Um, finds herself in trouble, you know, um, the whole subject of sex for grades thing popping up again. And, you know, in, when you have those kind of scenarios, you, you want somebody who will stick with you, you know, true friends. And I think that the message out there is for young people to realize that, look, nobody's far superior than the other. Trouble will find you any day, but you need people to stick with you and know who really you are and know what your limitations will be, what you won't do and not do, even when the world turns against you. And I think that I offer that kind of a background for Moremi to be able to be strong even in the face of adversity, even in the face of, you know, everybody turning against them. Yeah. So, so how was it working with Nigerians and then all that that was Well, I, for me, it's, the difference is very thin. You know, it's, it's family once again. I already traced my um, roots to Onicha. You know, my great-grandfather is from Onicha. So I'm, I'm Nigerian, you know. So um, I cross carpets, even though I just, I'm living in Ghana. I'm, I'm always here. I'm doing what I just finished a production with Chidi Chikere, um, OJ Productions in Enugu. So I'm just coming in. And, and so it's, it's, it's a family, it's a continuation of the family link for me, basically. Yeah. Thank you. Culture, you know, um, I think the culture is basically what we do over and over again, and and without even being conscious about it, what what comes spontaneous, that that's what defines our culture. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I know it's my second movie, but we've always worked on, on on all of these movies, but more as a as a drama student in 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 seeing, uh, uh, in seeing to how the story connects and how it gets properly resolved. So I've always worked behind the camera with him in all of his movies, all of it. Yeah. My character in this, yeah, I'm playing Koejo. The character's name is Koejo. You know. uh, what does Koejo stand for? Koejo stand for that set of um, uh, set of people that are against injustices on campus, and who feels life can be better, and who feels whoever is into bad stuff should be answerable for it. So that's that's basically what Koejo, what Koejo represents to the movie. Yeah. 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 It, it's high, it's, yeah, it, 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 uh, I'm, I'm always a fan of, um, don't celebrate the problem. If you want to talk about a problem, be ready to talk about the solution as well. So don't, don't just say, okay, we have an issue. Okay, how can we solve the issue? That's the next thing. So it, it's, the movie is not just going to come at you like, okay, you're just uh, revealing problems. No, it's going to be a problem solver as well. So that's, I think that's why it's going to be a different movie all together why because uh, we all know about the problem but we don't know the solution so I think this movie will stand for for that yeah you're welcome well, Citation is a film about sexual harassment uh, in uh, places but this time around we're narrowing it down to universities um, and also we're focusing more on the fact that if you find yourself in such state what are you going to do you know i know it's, it seems like a cliche you know that um everybody has been talking about it but for us um when things like that happen in citadel of learning uh the assumption is it kept swept under the rug so we're going to use this film to you know open it up and and discuss it No, I, I was even saying maybe they stole my idea because I've been working on citation, like I said, since 2018. And um, this just came out late 2019. So, um, so I've, been, I've been on it for a while, yeah. All right, so there are a lot of filmmakers out there. And here you are, you filmmakers, you're using your craft to talk about important issues. What would your message be to upcoming filmmakers? No, look. Not everybody, you don't have to say serious things to. You can do comedy, colemony and waka. Look, for, for me, I want to live for something. I want to be remembered for something. And um, I'm not going to say any other person who does not toe that path is, you know, not on the right path. I will just say that for me, that is the path I have chosen and I'm enjoying it. Um, I want my children, I want my children's children, you know, to... Uh, see what I have done and be like, look, look, I'm proud of him. I want the society, I want people to want to emulate what I do. I want youths 
I'm not a preacher, but I could preach certain things uh, uh, through what I do, and uh, that is what I'm about. Okay, you have six weeks to shoot this. Yes. Um, uh, and post production. Very yes. likely that in mind you will release. No, I'm looking at mid next, mid this year, hopefully. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Cheers. Just from that, okay. Yeah, my name is Buku Biolo Ashina. And um, right now we are at the press conference for citation. And on this story, in this script, I'm playing the role of Uzo Amaka. Uzo Amaka is uh, the student junior leader. And my character standing for both female, um, females and males, students. Like the story says, like I'm a tomboy, so that's the way I stand in for the two. And uh, this is a story I would admonish you to probably pay attention to when it's out. Like it teaches a lot of morals, it talks about sexual harassment, molestation, students' day to day activities, and ways we could handle uh, situations when it comes to our academic lives, and a lot of things that. People in this generation, especially our generation, because a lot of things are messed up in this generation when it get, comes to youth. So, we, I will, I'll tell you guys to get your fingers locked down and wait for the movie. Citation is going to blow your mind. Trust me, anything from Kuna Afalanyo is not Sherry Sherry, you know. Ah, my sister is my first time. <laughs> It's my first time working with him. It's been fun all the way from the script reading, meetings cast and crew, everybody has just said of amazing people and it's been fun, I wouldn't lie, and I feel so privileged. I felt like it was a dream. I didn't see this happening until I came here today and people were putting it, I'd be like, really, I'm actually in this movie. So it's actually shocking for me. <laughs> but the story actually blew my mind away. I, I actually wasn't expecting something small from him though. So, right, thank you.